Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching VHS TV. Today is Friday, May 12th. I'm Emily Truax. And I'm Josh Clark, and here's what's going on at VHS. Thanks to everyone who made Prom 2017 a success on Saturday night, and to all those who participated in hashtag BeBirdProm17. And congratulations to Ad Abby Marie, who has won a t-shirt from VHS TV. Abby follows VHS TV on Twitter, and was one of the first to post pictures using the hashtag. Just go see Mr. Good in room C112 to pick up your prize. For your chance to win a prize next Friday, follow BHS TV on Twitter and participate in next week's hashtag of the week. Yearbooks are coming. Seniors can pick up theirs during lunch in the Senior Academy cafeteria on Friday, May 19th. Everyone else can pick up theirs during lunch on Monday and Tuesday, May 22nd and 3rd. When you pick up yours, you will be entered to win a gift card. See Miss L in room B225 if you have any questions. English 11 students are hosting a panel discussion about social problems that have been the focus of their readings. The panel will take place on Tuesday, May 16th at 7 p.m. in the LGI room. Speakers from the Indianapolis Ten Point Coalition, Islamic Society of North America, Wheeler Mission, Sheltering Wings, and other organizations will help raise awareness about crime, poverty, civil rights, and bullying. If you are interested in attending, you must RSVP with Mrs. Thompson in K221. The Brownsburg High School Color Guard has one more performance this year. They will have their first dance recital on Monday, May 22nd in the high school auditorium. The recital starts at 6.30 and admission is free. Do you like movies? What about popcorn and chocolate? If so, then come to C200 after school on Thursday, May 18th, where the Environmental Club will be hosting a showing of Wall E. Admission is free, but they will be selling popcorn and chocolate bars. A portion of the proceeds goes towards conservation projects, so come by to show your support and take a closer look at your impact on the world. Freshmen and sophomores, would you like to go cave tubing, zip lining, and hiking in a tropical rainforest? What about swimming with sea turtles and sharks? Bring your parent to room C207 on Thursday, May 18th at 6.30 p.m. You could be on your way to Belize for spring break 2019. If your parent cannot come to the meeting, stop by Mrs. Muller's room to get details. Top Dog Cafe will be closing permanently on Friday, May 19th. If you currently have a Top Dog punch card, please be using them as they will not be accepted after May 19th. The annual summit for soldiers, John Crone Memorial 5K will be held tomorrow, Saturday, May 13th at Blastoff Park. Registration begins at 10 a.m. and the race will follow at 11. This event helps raise money and awareness for PTSD and suicide prevention, as well as remembering the life of fallen military officer John Crone. All profits will be donated to Summit for Soldiers. Registration is $15. Just visit the website on screen. As some BHS staff members wrap up their careers, our BHS TV crew decided to take a trip down memory lane with our loyal Bulldog staff. My name is Carol Watkins. I've taught at Brownsburg High School for 24 years. I've been in the math department the whole time. I've taught anywhere from pre-algebra all the way up to pre-calculus. Well, in 1993, my husband took a job at Warren Central High School, so we needed to move to the Indianapolis area. And I applied at all the high schools in the Indianapolis metro area and surrounding counties, and I just got lucky enough to get hired at Brownsburg High School. My teaching career in one word, if I could describe it, I would say stressful because students really don't know all the different aspects of being a teacher and there's lots of things to get done every day and being retired is going to be a big stress relief. My name's Steve Bennett. I'm a business and marketing education teacher at Brownsburg High School. I'm also the Decker Advisor and I've been here at Brownsburg. This is my 37th year. I ended up at Brownsburg High School because uh, when I graduated from IU in 1980, or my wife-to-be, she already had a job in Indianapolis. And so I knew I had to get a job in the Indianapolis area. And I, I knew if I wanted to have an education job, I also wanted to have a DECA program. Um, I think over the course of 37 years, it would be difficult to describe my teaching career in one word, um, probably a variety of words, uh, strange, weird, uh, different, honest, um, but I think at the end of the day, uh, the word that probably best describes it now is done. We would also like to mention the other two staff members retiring this year, Rhonda Deerdorf and Jenna Osborne. Congratulations everyone. From the BHS TV crew, 
Thank you for your many years of teaching and service. Thanks to all the retiring staff members. Now it's time for sports. Hey Wes, what do you got for us today? Hey guys. There are just a few weeks left for spring sports and the dogs continue to roll on. Last night, the girls softball teams hosted Chatard for senior night. Three home runs led the ladies to a 7-1 win. In the fifth innings, back-to-back -back home runs by junior Claire Flick and Anna Carroll blew the game wide open. Sydney Lowe hit the third home run of the night in the sixth inning. Jessica Doctor threw a complete game to earn the win and struck out eight. The ladies are back at home Monday night against Cathedral. The JV softball team continued their dominant streak in a couple of games this week. On Wednesday, the ladies were at Carmel and came home with an 11-1 victory. Kayla Tobin led the offense going 3-for-3 three three and scoring three runs. Last night, the ladies defeated Chatard 20-1. Sierra Castile threw a no-hitter in four innings of work and struck out four. She also led the offense going 3-for-4 with a home run and five RBI. Tori Breckler was 3-for-4 with a double. The JV team will take part in the Hamilton Southeastern Invitational tomorrow. Good luck. The boys varsity golf team got a big win over Avon last night at West Chase. The guys edged out the Orioles 149 to 152 and were led by Daniel Breslin with a one under par 35. Andrew Edwards shot a 37 followed by Alex Smith with a 38. Nice work guys. They were back in the links tomorrow in Lebanon. The boys track team had their Hoosier Crossroads Conference meet last night at Zinesville. Some great individual performances were the highlight of the night for the dogs, including Devin Humes who is the conference champion in discus. Other top finishers on the night include Richard Lang in the high jump, Bryce Kurtz in the 100 and the 200, and the 4x100 team of Lee Nuttall, Ja Hammond, and Shai Sumter Bay, and Bryce Kurtz, who were just four 100s off of the school record. The guys' sectional starts next Thursday at Plainfield. Good luck. The baseball team was back at home last night hosting Noblesville. The dogs got behind early and despite tying the game at 7, could not complete the comeback. They'd like to thank their 10 senior players and manager Bailey Dehart for all their hard work over the past four years. The freshman baseball team had a couple of games against Noblesville this week as well. On Wednesday, the guys fell 6-1 against the Millers despite accumulating lots of base runners throughout the night. Last night, the guys again struggled to get runs, falling 4-0. Anyone interested in being an athletic ambassador, applications are due in the athletic office by 3 o'clock today, no exceptions. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Wes. Let's check in with Blake with the weather. What is up, guys? We are finally getting a break from all this rain this weekend. Today, the high will be around the 70 degrees with partly cloudy skies and a low about 46 degrees. Saturday should be nice with mainly sunny skies and a high in the 70s. Clear skies overnight will lead to another sunny day on Sunday and a high of 78 degrees with just a low of 58. Enjoy what should we really be a nice weekend. Thanks, Blake. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.